Hogwarts Legacy is a pretty tutorial-heavy game, but there are quite a few things you need to discover on your own, or that it could explain more clearly. But fear not, because we are here to help with 18 things Hogwarts Legacy doesn't tell you. This castle will never cease to surprise me. When casting Revelio, listen for a bell-like sound which indicates a field guide page is near. The louder the chime, and the stronger the vibration from your controller is, the closer you are to the page. If you're wearing headphones or listening to spatial audio, the ding will be in the direction of the page. Unless you're a fan of the franchise already, seeing Alohomora as a quest reward doesn't tell you much. But it's actually Hogwarts Legacy's lockpicking mechanic. Complete the main quest to the Caretaker's Lunar Lament to acquire it quickly. I could use your help with something. If you've been exploring the Highlands, you'll have noticed that there are quite a few large ponds around. And unless you've completed the Lost Astrolabe side quest, you'll likely haven't noticed that swimming is actually a thing you can do. It's fairly basic, but you can search out bubbles for underwater loot. While much of what you experience will be the same no matter which house you choose, there are some differences. Extra dialogue trees with other housemates, your colors being reflected in the gear you receive, and a few fast travel points leading straight to your house wing, to name a few. But the big one is a different main quest for each house after completing the Trials of Merlin quest, the details of which can be found on our wiki guide at IGN.com. Scrap wanted to be sure you weren't followed. While the wand designing process is extremely intricate and thorough, your choices, whether it be the wood, length, or flexibility, are simply cosmetic, and will not affect the way in which your wand performs or casts in combat. While you can find a hidden page giving you the key clue to solve arithmancy doors, you can actually solve them the first time you see them to get secret loot. We won't spoil it here in case you want to figure it out on your own, but we do have a whole separate video available breaking it down. Destructible objects and breakable walls are everywhere, and often lead to loot. They can often be broken with a basic spell shot or a force spell like the Pulso. Keep using Revelio to see what can be interacted with. Hogwarts Legacy goes out of its way to reward curiosity. Secret chests, hidden staircases, and field guide pages are everywhere, and often hiding in plain sight, just waiting for someone to find them. Interact with everything you can to find these secrets. In the spirit of interacting with everything, many different statues around the castle require different spells to activate, such as Levioso for this dude, or fire spells for these adorable little dragons. Light them up for a field guide page. When viewing the world map, click in the right stick to change the time from day to night, or vice versa. Quests will often be gated to a specific time of day, or require a passage of time to progress. Two problems both solved by this feature. To activate the Trials of Merlin, marked by a leaf symbol on your map, you need Mallow Sweet leaves. Thankfully, you can plant these in Herbology class, or even the Room of Requirement. So plant them in your pots, and then fast travel back to them when needed. Speaking of growing plants, the timers won't keep ticking if you're paused, so stay out of the menus if you're waiting for a plant to be grown. The same goes for potions, too. If you plan on buying Mallow Sweet leaves instead, the stock for these leaves is extremely limited, and vendors will only restock after two and a half days have passed. Thankfully, this can be fast-tracked with the wait feature we mentioned earlier. It's a bit tedious, but it'll get the job done. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Something else we covered in another guide, you can change most things about your character's appearance, including complexion and eye color, by visiting the barber shop in Hogsmeade. As long as you've obtained a piece of gear, you'll always have access to its appearance, even if you've sold or destroyed the item. Gear scales to your character level, so when it comes to opening those legendary chests, we recommend holding off on opening them until you're higher level to ensure you're making the most out of these items, as they'll offer the best stats and upgrade capabilities. The loot you receive when searching chests in Hogwarts Legacy is completely random. However, certain gear types are known to spawn in certain chest types. Cylindrical-shaped chests will contain wand handles, and hexagonal-shaped chests will contain new conjurations for the Room of Requirement. While exploring the Highlands, there will be times when you stumble across multiple factions fighting each other. This is a fantastic way to earn easy loot because you'll receive the items the enemy drops as long as you deal the finishing blow. Sit back and watch as the factions fight it out, and when they're worn down, swoop in, deal the finishing blows, and clean up all your hard-earned resources. 
Was that 18 things? I'm pretty sure I said 18 things it doesn't tell you. I can go back and check. Consider yourself lucky I held back. What's the most useful thing Hogwarts Legacy didn't tell you? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you're curious, check out our guide to opening the arithmancy doors. For everything else gaming, you're already in the right place. IGN.